Okay, so it has one endpoint at the vertex of a triangle and makes a perpendicular with the opposite side. So that would be the, the altitude right here for uh, one of the sides of the triangles. So um, this is an acute triangle, so I'm going to construct the altitude. And in order to construct the altitude, you really need to know a construction that I don't think we've done before. So I'm going to flip that paper over and just draw yourself a segment on the paper. And then put a point off the segment like that. Okay, now the construction that you need is how to construct a perpendicular from this point to this line. So that starts with, put the tip of the compass on the point. Make sure that your compass is open enough that when you swing it, it will hit the line, the segment, in two places. Okay, so I'm going to make an arc like this. And then from this point of intersection, I'm going to make an arc at the bottom, and then complete the X on the other point of intersection. And so we have just constructed the perpendicular. So if this was the vertex of the triangle and this was the side of the triangle, this would be the altitude right there. That's the construction of construct a perpendicular from a point to a line. So uh, you might call it like a smiley face type of um, construction. Okay, so on the other side, point of concurrency of the altitudes. So we need three altitudes. So from this point, we're going to make an arc. Now notice that mine would not hit both sides of the segment. So one thing I can do is just go ahead and stretch out this side a little bit. Because you're really making it perpendicular to the line. So I'm just going to stretch that out a little bit and now pull this in a tad. When I make the arc, it hits the line in two places. And then an arc down here. And an arc down here. I can draw the perpendicular through this X and through that vertex. So there's the first altitude. So there's a perpendicular. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and stretch out this side of the triangle. And I, I think I'm going to make that dotted when I stretch it out just so it's a little easier to follow what all the different segments are. So. I'm going to go back and make this one dotted. Okay, so now I'm going to do, I like to turn the paper so that the segment I'm going to um, make my perpendicular to, the altitude I'm drawing to, is kind of at the bottom of the drawing. So from this vertex, I'm making it perpendicular to this side of the triangle. So from here, I'm going to open it up a little bit because mine won't hit the, the segment in two places. So there it's hitting. X there. And, X there. and so the altitude will go through that point and through the vertex. There's another altitude. It's perpendicular to that side of the triangle. Okay, and then my third side of the triangle is this side here. And I'm going to go from this vertex. I'm going to make, I'm going to stretch this side out a little bit. So. This side can be stretched out a time. So from this vertex, I'm going to make an arc. And then from here, make an X. Here 
is my last attitude. And look through there. We just located that point right there. There's the orbital center. I'm going to mark that one perpendicular to the side there. So here's one right angle, here's the second right angle, and there's the third right angle. Now, for an acute triangle, the orthocenter is inside the triangle. Do you have one? 